Hi, my name is Richard Robbins. Thanks for signing up for my Udemy course. Since 1999, I have made a living for myself and my family by building online retail stores and selling them. I created this course to show you how to do the same thing that I have successfully repeated several times. In fact, during this course I am going to introduce you to two new online stores that I am building right now, and I will invite you to shadow me as I demonstrate the steps you need to take to create something similar to what I am building right now. Here is a quick review of how my own personal e-commerce story has unfolded over the past 15 plus years and how it led me ultimately to create this course for you. In 1999, I was working as an entry-level software developer while going through college when I decided to start my own business. Together with my father, who was a car mechanic, and my four brothers, we decided to open an automotive repair and tire store. It was going to be called Robbins Automotive, and it was going to be nothing short of awesome. Well, we quickly found out that automotive stores including the building, the equipment, and the inventory, can be very expensive to start, which means that there's a bit of financial risk involved. After a lot of planning and research, we found out we needed to get a loan for $1.3 million to make the business happen. That turned out to be too much risk for us. The business was finished before it even got started. That experience made me wonder if there might be some way to take advantage of ownership in a business and making some decent money without taking on the financial risks that are often involved in starting even a small business like our auto repair shop. Could there be some way to have access to the high upside of business ownership while avoiding overhead expenses like renting a commercial building or office, buying lots of inventory, paying employees, and all the other gotchas that tend to destroy new businesses? Well, I found out that in fact there is a way. That's the magic of the internet. After my family's auto repair store flopped, I decided to pursue with my younger brother the idea of building an online store. We found a few suppliers who would allow us to advertise their products on our website. Instead of having the risk of starting out with a big inventory of items we weren't sure we could sell, we could sell the products through our website first. Once we received an order, we would have our suppliers ship the order to our customer directly. This meant that instead of spending our time guessing what products to stock up on, stressing about having way too much inventory, and planning clearance sales to get rid of what we couldn't sell, we just had to focus on attracting people to our website. Our only significant risk was simply the time we spent learning and experimenting with internet marketing including search engine optimization and social media. The financial startup costs were minimal. My brother and I built Outersports.com, a retail store that sold products for outdoor recreation, including backpacks, tents, sleeping bags, and thousands of other products, many of which we didn't even know existed until we came across them in our supplier's catalog. After about a year of working on Outersports.com, it became profitable enough to replace my brother's income at his full-time job. At his request, I turned the business over to my brother so he could run with it. Then, together with my wife, I started a new website focused on team sports products, things like baseball uniforms, basketball goals, and volleyball nets. It was called robinsports.com. I grew up playing sports all the time, so it made sense to merge my business goals with my natural interests. While I was finishing up my bachelor's degree and living in the married housing on BYU campus, I continued to work on robinsports.com with the intent that it would become my full-time job once I finished school. I had an experience at that time that helped me understand the huge potential that exists with an e-commerce store. One morning when I woke up and checked my email, I noticed a confirmation for an order that had been placed during the night. The customer ordered two professional basketball goals. The order total was about $20,000. I quickly calculated how much profit I'd made, about $2,500. This experience was an epiphany that has influenced my career ever since then. While I was asleep, the internet was still working for me, and it had snagged me about $2,500 in income. 
To complete this particular deal, I just had to confirm that the order was legitimate and have my supplier fulfill the order. It was an awesome feeling. Hopefully you will have a chance to experience that same kind of thing while you're completing this course. During the last year I owned my sporting goods store, it netted me about $240,000 in income on about $1.4 million in sales, and it was run mostly from my home in Spanish Fork, Utah. I sold that company and I was able to pay cash for a nice new home. Um, make that a nice new home. There we go. A nice new home for my growing family. Later, I repeated the formula with the store that sold children's clothing, Maylie'sBoutique.com, named after my daughter. I did it again with a medical product store, which I sold last fall. If you learn the process and follow the steps I'll show you in this course, you can see that this formula works. Well, I could have told you that. <laughs> it's certainly not easy. It may take you a few months to get there, but it can definitely be done with some dedication and commitment on your part. During this course, I expect that you'll come to appreciate the amazing power of the internet, which you will learn how to essentially configure to bring customers right to your virtual door. I'm grateful that my life and my family have been blessed by the technology that has been developed that allows us to be internet entrepreneurs. The flexibility I've obtained through a great income and the ability to set my own schedule allows me to spend more quality time with my wife and kids to pay for music lessons and sports leagues, and even the opportunity to travel as I did last summer around the country in an RV without even having to leave my business behind. If you have a decent computer and a reliable internet connection, you're well on your way to building your own e-commerce business. Let me show you how to do it. Let's get started.